Explosive claims from the man known as September 11th's, quote, 20th hijacker. CNN learned that convicted terrorist Zacharias Musawi recently wrote two federal courts to two federal courts offering inside information about Al Qaeda and connections to the Saudi royal family. CNN's Deborah Farrick joins me here on set. Uh, you actually covered the Musawi trial, so you know a lot about this man. Tell us, are, are his claims being taken seriously? Well, it's very interesting because even back then there were a lot of serious issues about what he knew mm -hmm. and whether, in fact, he was crazy. In fact, he was diagnosed to paranoid schizophrenic. But Zakari Musawi has often been portrayed as the missing 20th hijacker. Now, in a four page handwritten letter, he's reviving old claims that have so far been debunked that a specific Saudi prince and princess were involved in financing. 9-11. However, Musawi takes it a step farther, claiming that Saudi embassy officials were involved in a plot to shoot down Air Force One and assassinate Bill Clinton and or Hillary Clinton during a trip to the United Kingdom. Well, he says that he met with a Secret Service agent several months ago and told him what he knew. To put it in perspective, Musawi's court-appointed trial lawyers back in 2006 portrayed him as a paranoid schizophrenic, and even 9-11 mastermind Osama bin Laden at the time denied that Musawi was part of the hijacking plot. He is in a supermax prison in Colorado. He is eight years into a life sentence after pleading guilty to terrorism and murder conspiracy in connection with 9-11. Uh, but he's claiming in this letter that he was attacked in prison on orders of another terrorist, Ramzi Youssef, who's in the same prison, and he tried to get Musawi not to testify against the Saudis. So Musawi's asking for new lawyers. He says in exchange for what I can provide vis-a-vis -vis information, uh, he wants to be moved out of this H unit, which he calls a Saudi stronghold. He wants a warmer cell that's not infested with rodents, and he also wants his money back to buy stamps. So uh, Musawi has been making these claims, but now the Justice Department is doing due diligence, and they are looking into it, even even though a lot of reports, a lot of expertise has been put into determining whether, in fact, the Saudis were part of the 9-11 plot. Right, and they have repeatedly denied this, right? What has their response been? Well, they have, and it's really interesting because 9-11 families continue to sue the Saudi royals. And uh, basically, mm -hmm. lawyers for those families say, you know, the information that was provided is relevant, it's pertinent, and it could be critical. The Justice Department is taking its time, it's reviewing. However, the Saudi government in court papers has denied any involvement, financial or otherwise saying that the Saudi kingdom was cleared many years ago. So it's still mm -hmm. very much alive. And we know uh, in the 9-11 Commission that, that basically it says that there's no clear evidence linking Saudi Arabia to 9-11, but there are 28 pages, right. right, of classified documents regarding Saudi Arabia. <laughs> What do we know about that? Well, and this is what's so interesting, and this is really what keeps sort of the fuel going. Right. Um, because there are a number of allegations and accusations allegedly in those 28 pages of documents that have so far not been released. Uh, the person who put out the 9-11 Commission report said everything should be made public. It's been more than 10 years. Mm -hmm. The fear for some is that, in fact, it's going to renew allegations, accusations that that simply aren't true. It's going to uh, hurt the relationships between the U.S. and the Saudis. Also, some people say that the 28 pages, in fact, really show a much tighter relationship between the Saudi royal family and George W. Bush, which hmm. many people knew back then at the time. So, again, until it's, those are it keeps unclassified, going. this conspiracy theorists will exactly. continue to come up with exactly. their own theories about what's in those pages. Thank you so much, Deb Farrick. We appreciate it.